exceptional. Now, the no vote in Greece's bailout referendum is heading for a landslide victory. So far, it has 61% of the vote, with the majority of the ballots already counted. And that would mean a rejection of demands made by foreign creditors for more austerity. The referendum was called over a week ago after another round of talks between Athens and the financial institutions collapsed. When casting his ballot, the Greek Prime Minister urged voters to reject the creditors' proposals. Alexis Tsipras called the poll a strong message to the EU, which will open a road for all the nations in Europe, even though lenders were warning the outcome is decisive for the country's future in the Eurozone. The Greek finance minister predicted he'd still have a job after the vote. Would you yeah. resign if there's a yes vote? Or Absolutely. Vote? Absolutely. And there won't be a yes vote. Tonight, you so you're resign. stuck with me. <laughs> if, if, if there's a yes vote. And here's the scene in Athens right now, where supporters of the government are flooding the square outside the parliament. Artis Petrenka is also in the Greek capital right now. Um, Ilya, it looks like the no vote, uh, its lead is unassailable, and it looks like plenty of people have turned out into the streets to uh, celebrate too. Andrew, that is absolutely true. Well, only two days ago, supporters of the No campaign were out there rallying for their cause, but right now they are celebrating. Of course, uh, well, I've talked to many people. I just came from uh, Santagua Square, actually. Uh, all, everyone is carrying Greek flags. Uh, the cars are honking their horns. And uh, what the people are really telling me is that Greece has just taught all Europe the le a lesson of democracy. That's the message that I've been uh, getting from the crowd. But um, earlier today, it wasn't so clear. Well, many experts um, predicted that it will be a close call. And uh, to be honest with you, that's the same impression that I got uh, when I was at one of the polling stations today. And here's what the people were telling me there. So you voted no, right? I voted no. It feels like they don't want us to be in a better situation. I, I think that uh, everyone here uh, feels uh, stressful, stressed. Uh, maybe if you don't mind, say how you voted and, and why. I voted yes, because I feel very strongly that uh, we belong to the European Union, to Europe. Well, all this is history now because right now thousands of people are back to Syntagma Square chanting no, no, but at least now they don't have to campaign anymore. All they have to do is celebrate because they know that Greece is not accepting the terms of that bailout. Okay, thanks, Ilya. That's uh, Artis Ilya live there from the center of Athens. Well, one of uh, Greece's creditors, the International Monetary Fund, has previously admitted that it failed to realise the damage austerity policies would cause, such as deep recession and exceptionally high unemployment, but pushed on with the programme anyway. Two years on, Greece is the first ever advanced economy to fall into arrears with the IMF, pushing the country to the brink of default. Since 2010, Greece has received a whopping 240 billion euros in bailout funds, but less than 10% of it has been spent on economic and also social reforms. And most of it has gone to financiers who lent money to Athens before the crisis. Even IMF officials admit the bailout's aim was to save the French and German banks which funded Greece. The international creditors are nevertheless pressuring the country to take sole responsibility for the state it's in now. This government has done nothing since it came into office. It's reneged on previously agreed commitments. You can't in all honesty expect us to talk with them in a situation like this. Given the political situation, the rejection of the previous proposals and the no uh, advice of the Greek government, we see no ground for further talks at this point. I'm blaming the Greeks to tell things to the Greek public which are not consistent with what I told the Greek Prime Minister. What they're essentially saying is that uh, your own government is the enemy and we're your friends. Just don't buy anymore. They're trying to polarize the Greek society and this is going to uh, create a lot, lot of problems. When you are negotiate with the Europeans and not 
And when you say one thing at when you say one thing in the meeting room, and then you go outside and play them, blame them, and accuse them, doesn't uh, show a very reliable Greek and very stable Greek government. Well, Germany has injected the biggest amount of cash into Greece, so it is uh, so its leader is keeping a closer eye on the unfolding Greek drama than most. Ja, damit die Sache dann wieder ausgeglichen ist, sagen wir mal ne. Das heißt nämlich ja auf Griechisch. The German Chancellor is also facing internal political pressure over Greece. The opposition left party lashed out at the government, saying it simply wants to topple Tsipras. The austerity backed by Germany and the Troika has failed. Soup kitchens and more soup kitchens. Greece is not the only one to have broken the EU's budget rules. Why is it being vilified? You want to remove the leftist government in Greece. That's what it is about. Let's go live now to Max Frad Wolf, uh, Chief Economist at uh, ZT, uh, sorry, ZT Wealth. Uh, thanks very much for coming on to the programme this evening. Now, the Greek Finance Minister has explained how he sees negotiations uh, going next. We can listen to what he has to say. Starting from tomorrow, we will have the will of the Greek people as one of our main arguments. It will strengthen our position in negotiations. We already see positive signs from the IMF. Just a few days ago, it presented a report which confirms that Greece's debt should be restructured. We also welcome the statement from the European Central Bank, which has adopted a wait-and-see approach. Thus, it admitted that a decision acceptable to all sides could be reached.